I don't remember some of those details, but you know, I, I look at that that period of my life and in my career and and Ray Everham and his you know role in in in, in you know the team and my career um, building this team together. Then Rick Hendrick and and you know his role and just just how everything was sort of coming together at that time. But you know, I came off of a season in Bush Grand National, as you mentioned, that I was pretty confident. Right, we won some big races and we were fast about everywhere we went. I think we had like eleven poles. So I came into the Cup Series, especially knowing Ray. And, and the types of race cars he builds, the type of equipment that Hendrick Motorsports had, the horsepower under the hood, feeling, man, we're, we're going to go, um, you know, be very competitive. I didn't know what it took to win races, but but I knew we'd be competitive. And we showed that in testing. So, you know, but at the same time, my, my confidence got kind of brought back down to earth when, when we started you know, crashing and tearing up things and, and, and the season not going so well, but you know, it, it, that's, that season in 93 was just um, special when I look back on it, but, but really nerve wracking and, and stressful because it just, you want to make your splash and you're entering the NASCAR and you want it to be big. And there was hype around the rookie class that year with Bobby Labonte, Kenny Wallace, and myself all coming from the, uh, the Bush Grand National Series and and yet I wasn't living up to expectations, my own expectations, the team's expectations, or or maybe you know some of the media or fans either. So it was a little bit disappointing, but but we we had enough highlights to to get us through the year, and then really kind of you know break out the following year, ninety four. 